Dr. Root 7 signing in back with another exciting PlayStation Vita tutorial video as usual. Okay, I just died. Alright, so I am playing Bodvice on the PlayStation Vita. Now this is a PC game. Also, you can play this through Portmaster. Now this is an interesting take because one of my fellow Vita fans wanted me to make a tutorial video on Moonlight. So I am basically using Moonlight on my PlayStation Vita. Now this is Steam app running through Moonlight application. It's a very easy process given that you have met certain requirements. After that, it's a breeze. Let's start with the setup process. Obviously, make sure that you have a jailbroken PlayStation Vita. Also, once you're done with the jailbreak, there is a plugins tutorial video that you need to follow, you must follow. That should be linked in the description as well. So the very first thing that you're gonna do is follow the link in the description and download the latest version of Sunshine. You're going to be heading towards this link Please pay attention to what I'm about to say because these are very important. Make sure that your PC is equipped with a modern AMD or GeForce GTX 600 series or above graphic cards. All in all, you're going to have to make sure that your PC is equipped with the modern day graphic cards and also has the system requirements that is able to handle proper streaming followed by a stable internet connection no VPNs no firewalls if there's going to be VPNs or firewalls you're going to be running into issues with those things kept in mind you're going to download the proper version of the exe file since I'm on Windows I'm going to download the sunshine windows installer.exe I already have it installed now you can see it right over here and there you go sunshine application i'm just gonna go ahead and run it is going to take me to a web page on this web page you're gonna have to create an account now since i'm already logged in i won't be able to show you guys unless i log out now let's see if i can log out or not if not then please make sure you just create an account now once you have created an account you are always going to be logged into this screen once you run the application next thing that you're going to do is on your playstation vitas okay so on your playstation vitas you're going to make sure that you have vita db downloader app installed and running because this app is going to make your lives a lot easier. Now this is a database app that lets you download homebrew applications, ports, update them within the comfort of your PlayStation Vitas. Now here under search, type in Moonlight and press on enter. The latest version of Moonlight showing up. Press on X and follow the instructions, install Moonlight. A very special thanks to the people who are behind this application. It's freaking awesome. Once you're done installing the application, you're going to see Moonlight show up on your PlayStation Vita's live area. You're just gonna start Moonlight. Search devices. Obviously make sure that you're connected to the internet and the most important part. Please keep in mind that both your PC and your PlayStation Vita is connected under the same network, not under different networks. It has to be under the same network. Otherwise, you're going to face pairing issues and all of that sort. Now, under search device, if, it, if your PC doesn't show up, that's totally fine. We have to add our PCs manually. How to do that? You just have to select add manually. And here, you're gonna have to type in the IP address of your PC. Okay, so in order for you to look up your PC's IP address, you have to go to the search bar, type in CMD, which refers to command prompt. And when the command prompt window is gonna pop up, type in IP config and press on enter. You're going to see a bunch of things pop up. The one that you're looking for is the IPv4 address. That's your PC's IP address. That's the one that you need to type in on your PS Vitas under manual search. Quickly type in my PC's IP address. So once you have put in the details, the IP address is going to show test connecting to done. Now here, it's going to ask you to enter the pin. This is where you're gonna type in the pin code. For me, it says 1494 and device name, I'm just gonna write PS Vita done. 
So it says success and that's it. It should, your PC should show up under the paired computers tab. Now I have two of them of the same IP with the same IP address. Select your PC and it should say connecting, stream starting, done. You can see my PC screen has been paired. Now a couple of things, if you want to bring up the moonlight menu, all you have to do is just drag from this corner, the top left corner, and it's going to bring up the moonlight system menu. And from here, you can either disconnect or resume or quit the streaming app. It comes with two default applications. One is the desktop app. Another one is with the Steam app. And if you select the Steam big picture, you're going to see that Steam application starting on your PS Vita. Just give it a little bit. Our Steam app just started. You can also control the cursor through by using your touch screen or you can use your physical control pad and press on X. You can just run your games through here and enjoy PC streaming at the comfort of your PlayStation Vita. Very cool, eh? Other than one thing that was a pain in the ass, I'm gonna talk about that once I'm done showcasing this game a little bit. Now we can run this game natively on our PlayStation Vitas as well. Blasphemous has been ported on our PlayStation Vitas. A full-fledged tutorial still awaits. A very special thanks to Gloom, by the way, for making this port possible. All right, so we are on our PCs. The very annoying thing that, that you might or you're going to face is the resolution is going to change and all the icons on screen are going to get jumbled up. It's a pain in the ass. There is a fix for that. All you have to do is just head over to configuration and click on audio video tab. Scroll down, look for the resolutions tab. It should be set to default that says use resolution provided by the client. You're gonna switch to do not change resolution. Scroll all the way down and hit on save. From this point onwards, it's not going to change or mess up the resolution of your PC, which is a very annoying thing. So yeah, that's basically it. I'm gonna talk about some of the Moonlight specific options before ending this tutorial. So let's jump right into our PS Vitas. So we are on our PS Vitas connected to our Moonlight application. Just do that swipe from the top left corner. Just press on the circle button. Here you're going to see settings while you're streaming. Okay, so here you are able to change the resolution. I'm not able to change it to any higher or lower. It's set to 1280 by 720. And FPS you can toggle between 60 and 30, bitrate, and there's all of these things, all of these options that you are able to toggle. I really do not recommend doing anything on this screen. I'm just showing you guys. For those who are a bit more technical, you guys can just, you know, fool around with the settings. If you want to switch between applications, so what you're gonna do is just quit the streaming desktop app and here it's going to bring you to this screen where you can select and toggle between the application that you want to run. So yeah, that's basically it. Yeah, that's basically it with the Moonlight app. If you found this tutorial helpful and useful, then please make sure to drop in a like and subscribe. Stay tuned for everything, a whole lot of things, a whole lot of awesomeness. I'm going to see you guys on the next one. Dr. Group 7 signing off. Peace.